Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy at Attic Treasures Etc. And today is day four of December 2022, which is a collaboration hosted by Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel at Junk Journal Art. So today's prompt is recycled art and a coin envelope. So I will link, like I have in previous days, back to Barbara's and Louisa's channels to show the info about Ephemeremember, and then you can see um, everything that they posted about it in, in their videos and, and all the different things that they talked about. So um, this is just to help us get some ephemera together for our junk journals for the rest of the year. And the idea is that we make a different piece each day following the prompt list. So for my recycled art, I am using a background that I made probably about a year ago with just some inks. And um, as I made it, I took pictures at every stage before I laid on the next layer. So. I uh, printed this from my tablet so that I would have it on this kind of heavier matte paper. And then uh, for also for the turtle, because that's the animal, I have this image that I'm going to fussy cut out. And this is from this book, Art Quilt Portfolio. And these are um, actually done on fabric. And there, some of the images in here are just beautiful. This is where I got the giraffes for my um, uh, two days ago for uh, prompt number two. And it's just a really, really great book, just full of beautiful, beautiful quilts from very talented people. So that sort of qualifies as recycled art, too. And then I'm also going to use this photograph. It's a copy of a photograph I have of my granddaughter Maddie from about 10 years ago when she was just starting out in ballet, and I just think it's adorable. So I'm going to start by fussy cutting these out, and then we'll see, because I don't know if I'm going to use the rabbit or if I'm going to place her on top of the turtle. So I'll just get started on that. I hardly ever use digitals uh, for any of my journal work because I really prefer to find my images in the wild, so to speak, like from books like this or um, other books that I find at thrift stores and garage sales. To me, I really like the thrill of the hunt. Okay, this is going to take a while to fussy cut this out, so I'm going to do this off camera because this is a pretty boring process for you to be watching. So I'll be right back. Okay, um, I've got these all cut out now, and they're adorable, and I'm going to leave the rabbit on the turtle here. But first, before I get any further, I'm going to jazz up the um, my background a little bit more. I'm just going to use some Tim Holtz stamps. Well, this one's a Tim Holt stamp um, and some script stamps. That's not really showing up. Maybe I'll use a darker color. Let's try this brown. That's better. Just one little bit in the background. In fact, I really don't even want the block. Okay, and this nondescript script stamp. It doesn't say anything. <laughs> My gibberish. Hmm. 
Now we need to turn this into an envelope, a coin envelope to be exact. So I'm going to fold it roughly in thirds. Trying to keep it straight, the edges. I want to be able to overlap a little bit here, and that's plenty. Now I'm going to uh, cut from the bottom first because I don't I don't want to risk making it too short for my images. So to make it easier to see where to cut, I'm going to turn this inside out and ink the, uh, the edges just a little bit, I mean the creases. That way I'll be able to tell where I'm going with my, with my cutter. Okay, this is where I want the bottom. And I'm going to go about three quarters of an inch from the bottom and then that will form my flap. But, get that out of the way. Got to get it straight along the line. And I'm only going to cut away these, uh, the, the edge parts. So about three quarters of an inch. I'm only cutting to the crease. And I'm doing a little bit of an angle cut up to this cut line. There we go. And I don't feel like bringing out my scoreboard, so I'm just going to fold this up and crease it using my ruler. Okay, so if I fold it back this way, then I can start to place my image on here and then I'll know how tall to make it. Okay, so I'm just going to make a little mark with a pencil. Here. And that's tall enough. I'm going to ink it on this side because that's where I have it marked. Perfect. And again, I'm only going to cut from the crease to the edge of the paper. And then I'm going to make the flap about an inch, maybe inch and a quarter, since it's sort of a it's a taller envelope than normal, than my normal uh, coin envelopes.
and I'm going to cut at a little, um, just a shallow angle here as well. Okay, that'll work. That'll work really well, as a matter of fact. So now I'm just going to ink the edges. And I'm going to glue this side down using some art glitter glue along the edge here. And while it's still uh, well unglued on the top and the bottom, I'm going to punch my hole in this part. It'll be easier if I can open it up. Let's see. Why don't we cut out um, some some closure pieces first? Use these off cuts. Two for the top and two for the bottom. Glue these together. Better kind of draw in here in the center. I'm using my, pardon me, dropping stuff all over the place, my grid to roughly find the center. Okay, so I'm not going to attach these yet with the brads because I want to. Um, decoupage on the front or collage on the front. So I want to make sure that um, there's nothing in the way of me doing that and the brad might create a little bit too much bulk there. So I'm just going to mark where these are going to go. One there. And we can move this one down a little bit. Okay, so we'll set these aside, and I'm going to go ahead and punch my hole here. All right, set those aside, and now I can glue up the bottom. All right, let's get our images on here. <laughs> oh man, I remember when my little girl, my little granddaughter was first in ballet. She did not want to leave mama's side. And now she is an amazing dancer, not necessarily ballet anymore, but she is so coordinated and so beautiful and so tall. And um, I just absolutely adore her. And she needs wings. So I'm going to uh, cut off her, or this little butterfly's antenna, because we don't need those. Ink the edges.
feel like I need three hands for doing this. <laughs> All right, time to place my little ballerina on top of her turtle. And I really think that this is appropriate because although she had a slow start, she got her confidence. I mean, slow start as far as dancing because she was really shy. Um, she's extremely smart, this girl. And, but she has gained her confidence and now there is no stopping her from whatever she wants to do. So she's kind of like the tortoise and the hare in the, in the image that she's going to be standing on. And absolutely, like, a, I can't tell you enough how beautiful she is. Inside and out. Okay, let's get it placed and then I can wipe off any, any globs. Okay, let's finish putting the closure on. And I think I will use that color brad. use some of this um, whatever this stuff is I think it's for crocheting crochet yarn okay on the end of this string I want to put a couple of little butterflies that I cut out of the fabric paper that I made for the autumn junk journal just to give a little bit of decoration a little bit of a dangle I guess <laughs> tie a knot in the end First, that'll keep it from fraying and raveling. Okay, so we'll wrap around this one first. And then we can wrap the, the string around like so. Okay, one last thing. I want to put a quote on here. Where did my quotes go? Here we go. I'm going to use a Tim Holtz quote. And because I think it's so appropriate for this, um, this whole theme, I'm going to use the one that says, Be you bravely. So there we go, coin envelope and um, turtle, and there's my beautiful granddaughter Maddie just being herself bravely. Um, so that is today's prompt for a turtle and a journal or a coin envelope, and tomorrow it's going to be a number, a sentiment, and a ticket. So we'll see what we come up with for that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So, um, and be sure to check out Barbara's and Louisa's um, videos as well. And there are a lot of other YouTubers who are joining in on this too. So have fun, everybody. Happy crafting. And always let the serendipity find you. And we'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.